Hello there YouTube. Well, I received a package on Friday. Came all the way from Hong Kong. Can you guess what it is? I think I can. It's my new X150 amp speed controller. So I thought I'd just do a little unboxing video for you. A little bit of an overview of what I think of these speed controllers. I'll just get it opened up. I've just got her uh, out of the cellophane wrapping, so I'll just get, open her up and we'll take a look inside. <coughs> oh, fantastic. Well, there she is in all the glory. Lovely shiny blue casing. It's obviously going to get a bit scratched knowing me. But, oh, looks good there. Two pre-soldered Deans. I'm probably going to trim it down to one or make an adapter just to jump that um, because I only run three or four cell packs anyway so that doesn't bother me. Now I bought this to replace the 80 amp speedo that came in my Lozy 8 so I've got that to run with this which is a Turnigy, you can see that it's Turnigy track star motor, which is known as a 10 shock motor. They're rebadged, um, so it's 2560 kilovolt, unlike the Castle Creations, which is 2650. But obviously, I'm not too fussed about 90 kilovolt, really. Um, so, yeah, onto the speedo. Basically, I have owned one of these before. Um, quite a while ago though and I think they may have done some revamping to the design because it looks a bit more compact in all the whole height of it is you know a bit smaller than before um, last time I had one it did perform extremely well um, took quite a bit of abuse actually um, got splashed a bit with water and took that fine um, didn't ever really run that hot either and that was running a Castle Creation 2200 kilovolt motor in a uh, Hong Nor X1 CR brushless conversion I did about a year or so ago. Um, the only problem I had with it was in the fan in the top there. Um, it tended to clog up with dirt but you know you, you can easily brush it out or if you have an air compressor that's fine. Um, so these are supposed to rate up to obviously 150 amps it says on the uh, if you can see that it says 150 amps um, and also censored which is great you know tempted to get a censored motor and see what they're like I've never done that before um, but yeah it's rated up to six cell lithium polymer as well which I think is something like 18 cells but it's basically about 25 volts I think or 26 volts um, wouldn't go any higher than six cell though because they're only small these things they're not going to take anything more you know they're only Chinese um, but yeah, when I say my last one was fantastic, so I've got another one. I mean, I was going to plump for uh, Castle Creations Mamba Monster, which would have been the ideal one, but I've always found with them that they get quite glitchy in the cog a lot when they get damp, whereas these, they seem to have made them a bit more water, not waterproof, but water resistant. <laughs> I say it does look fantastic for what it is. It's, you know, I paid about 50, I think it's about 53 pounds or something like 54 pounds. Um, and that was delivered as well. Was it 54? I'm not quite sure actually. Let's just double check. Look. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. £63.90. Um, that is delivered. Obviously, the, the seller has free postage, which is great. Um, and as I say, if you look on the parcel, now that says sent. I don't know if you can see the property. It says sent on the 30th of the 9th, 2011. And I received it on the 7th. Which means it took only eight days, which wouldn't surprise me considering on here. Um, they have put 2040, about $47. I don't know if that's uh, Hong Kong dollars worth of postage stamps on it. So obviously, you know, it's quite expensive and I quite thank them for that. Um, bit of a plug for the company. Um, on eBay, their username is Compasso. 2005 so a very nice little business card you know saying thank you which is nice um 
so yeah check them out if you're going to get one I'd recommend that 8 days to postage to England you know that's fantastic right now what comes in the box um, once you've obviously removed that uh, piece of black plastic is some a nice user manual some stickers if you want to um, show off hobby wing on your car you also get some heat shrink and some cable ties and screws if you see them in there um, and you also get a black plate which my original one didn't actually come with um, so you can actually attach the speed control to something or make another template you know to screw it directly to in a brushless conversion say a battery tray or something you also get some motor bullets now mm, one of my gripes with this is they're only four millimeter um, and I don't think four millimeter is really going to be enough for 150 amps because they're not really that big you know compared to my thumb they're quite small I usually prefer six millimeter on the motor just wires. to wrap up the review as I say it's very superb speed control very sturdy it's not got a massive footprint the um, Hobby King 150 amp speedos are huge you're talking compared to the size of this it's probably a bit more out to here and out to here on the side they are very very big now they're pretty just as reliable they only take four cell though so if you wanted to run six cell you need one of these but I'll say the fantastic piece of equipment um, the only other thing is there's the switch on it um, I had an XE run 120 amp. Now that one, when the switch got damp, it would tend to sh not short as such, but it would stick. Uh, it would short the little button there, and it would stick in programming mode, which is a bit of a problem. But once it dried out, that was fine. So I say that would be my only gripe with these things, and I'm very much looking forward to using mine. I'll get some videos of it hopefully in a few weeks when I'm uh, well, probably not a few weeks, but like over Christmas time. Anyway. Thank you very much for watching and I will speak to you soon. Ta-ra!